This is an overview of the Image Accordion Widget by Limited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the Image Accordion into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it allows you to display a title, a subtitle, and a call to action button inside of each of these tiles. So whenever you hover on one of the tiles, the tiles will expand and it will show the data inside. Let's go over the settings and see what we can adjust and change over here. So first of all, we can change the event from hover to click. Now when I hover over these, nothing will happen and only once I click on them, then you will see the data inside. We can change the layout over here inside of direction, change that to be vertical, for example. And now when I click, you can see it works as well. Let's change that back to horizontal. We can decide for one of the items to be opened by default. So for example, I'm going to put over here one, and now you will see that the first item is open by default. If I change this to two, then the second one will be opened by default. This is for the button text inside of the item. So it's the text over here. You can change it to any text you like. And this is for transition speed. So now it's going to be a little bit slower. You can change that. This is in seconds actually. So inside of layout over here, we can decide to show or not show any part of the tile. So you can turn off the title, the subtitle or the button. I'm not gonna touch this right now. And another important setting is when do we decide to change the tiles to be from horizontal to vertical? Because on a responsive mode, this is not going to be looking good because there's not going to be enough space and there's not enough width to display this. So we want this to break instead of being one next to each other, under each other, just exactly like I showed over here in direction. But this happens automatically in any screen resolution that you request. So if I'll jump right now into tablet, you'll see it's this is the breakpoint. But if you want to leave uh, the tiles one uh, one next to each other on tablet, you're going to want to make the breakpoint smaller. So let's go for 600 pixels. And now you will see that on tablet, there's still one next to each other, which is still looking good. And when I jump into mobile, they're going to be one under the other. Let's jump into style and over here we can determine the height. What's nice is that you can determine the height for each screen resolution. So right now we're on mobile. I'm going to push this up and we can push it up until we feel that it's looking good for our needs. And another thing we can change here is the overlay color. And right now the tiles have a small subtle overlay, a black overlay with an opacity. And whenever you hover over the tiles, the opacity darkens. You can change these to any colors that you like to fit your design. And let's jump back into desktop. And you can see now we're, that we're on desktop mode, I can change the height as well. And we're affecting only desktop mode. Awesome. Inside of title, we have an option to change the title color, title typography, and the spacing underneath the title. So if you want to push this out a little bit, you can do that. This is a responsive field. So you might want to change the uh, spacing depending on the screen resolution. Inside of su subtitle, we have an option again to change the color typography. And inside of button, you have all the options to design the button however you like. For example, make the border thicker, maybe round the button. Really, you can play around with this uh, as long as you like. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.